All right, what's up, guys? So it's been around a month since the Canelo Lara fight happened, and I haven't put a video on my review on the fight because I'm kind of busy, and I know I'm late. But that just gave me more time to make a complete review and analysis of the fight. So let's get started. So the Canelo versus the Lara fight that happened on July 12th. Um, a lot of people were weren't happy really with the result. Due to the fact how the fight turned out, everybody was kind of expecting it to be like a, like a war, which it completely wasn't. And I think anyone with any kind of boxing intelligence could figure that out, considering both their styles. And the whole template of the fight basically split into two things. Lara ran, and Canelo was chasing him. Or Canelo beat him up, and, Can and Lara was running away from him. Um... The way a lot of people people are looking at it is Lara outboxed him or either he ran. And it was really split between that and the fight was close. I had it close. And so did a lot of people and people weren't happy with it. It's really I seen on from social media I seen people being split fifty fifty by the fight. Some were happy, some weren't. And it truly depends on what type of fan are you? Do you like a pure boxer do you like a slugger do you like uh, an attacker that has an effect on your judgment and also how the fight is decided and who the winner is with that being said the fight began at a catch weight uh, I believe it was 155 and going into the fight Canelo weighed in at 170 or 171 he went up a lot Lara didn't gain that much pounds he went up like around how normally a, a person would, but Canelo had a significant amount of an advantage. On the other hand, Lara had like around a five inch reach advantage over him, which was very handy considering his style and what he was going to do. Towards the build of the fight, Lara kept saying he was going to demolish him, school him bad, he was just going to beat him up, and he didn't really do that. He just basically, I guess you could say, box him the whole night and I was kind of conflicted because you can't say you're going to destroy someone and then just plan on, on point, out pointing him the whole match you kind of look dumb doing that in the fight when the fight was ended Lara wanted a rematch because he thought he won 100% of the fight and he said he wants a rematch. And Canelo, on the other hand, stated he would give him a rematch when he learns to fight. Now, the f in the fight, there's a fine line between running and boxing. And I think Lara crossed that line into the running zone. He definitely was boxing for a good portion of the fight. But he ran more than he boxed. And I use the word running very loosely because... The difference between running and boxing is greatly. Running would be where you're avoiding your your opponent on purpose. You don't want to engage with them. You want to stay away, hit him one two, and then move. Hit him one two, move. Say keep keep getting away from him. But there that is boxing. But you're missing a a very important element, which is counter punching. You are able to stand in front of your opponent, beat him up, and him not hit you, which is what boxing is. Getting hitting your opponent without you getting hit which is what exactly what Floyd Mayweather did to Canelo in their fight he basically stood in front of him the whole time and Canelo wasn't able to do anything to him he would hit him with the one two Canelo would throw something miss and then Floyd would make him pay on the other hand like Lara Lara would stay there hit him with a one two and then Canelo would go in for the body shot and then Lara would move away he wouldn't make him miss which is which is what which is what the whole fight was basically the whole night he didn't make a miss, which is a big part. It looks bad when you're there hitting your opponent and then you literally move away far from your opponent. That looks bad. That makes it look like you're running. You didn't counterpunch him, which is an important part of it. The judges were split. One liked Lara's pure boxing and the other liked Canelo's aggression. One judge, his name was Levy Martinez, had had a landslide for Canelo having it 117 to 111 which is completely bogus because there's no way that fight was that far off in his favor I could see how people would score it 116 one, um, versus 112 
but no, there's no way that was 117 versus 111. The fight was close. It was a competitive match. Some rounds were throw-up rounds. The f early part of the fight, it was Lara dominating, basically keeping his range, outpointing him. And then towards the middle of the round, like around 5, that's when Canelo decided to pick it up and started taking some rounds away from it. And then pretty much the rest of it was kind of like a toss-up between who gets it. What you, What did you prefer? Did you prefer his pure boxing or did you prefer Canelo's attacking? It depends on how you score and how you like it. But he didn't make him miss and pay, which is where he lost me. I had the fight at 115 to 113. And I didn't score the, the fight the first time I seen it because I, I usually never do. I usually watch the fight as a fan to be entertained and to see who wins. I, I analyze it and keep in mind everything is happening, but I don't score it. I score it the second time I watch the fight. But I have a good idea of what the score is. Now, Laura, he didn't, he didn't, um, he didn't push it the way I felt he needed to. He, he made a big mistake fighting the way he did. He should have, he should have stepped it up. He knows this was going to be his only opportunity to be on this stage against Canelo. Canelo didn't have to give him this fight. He could have chose an easier opponent, but instead he chose Lara, which gave him a lot of props for not cherry picking, unlike a lot of fighters he says. And K Lara could have really gave it to him, but he chose not to. He chose to go on like a cruise control, almost if you will, for the fight to make sure that he wins by judging by um, a judge scorecard, which is by he plan on scoring him. And I could see how people could have gave him the fight, but. When it's a fight of this magnitude for you and it's this much life changing, you don't let it for the hands of the judges to decide. You take things into your own hands, into your own manner, and you make the outcome. You don't people you don't let someone choose what's gonna happen. Now throughout the whole fight, Canelo would try to hit him and Lara would just put his hands up and block everything, then move. On the opposition, Lara would keep him will measure with his long distance and then hit him boom. And then Canelo will be almost like, oh crap, what hit me? And then Lara will throw another and then move. Canelo was pushing for the fight and chasing him down, but he couldn't really get to his head, really. It was most of his, almost all of his shots were body shots because it was too difficult for him to hit him in the head because he kept on moving so much. Lara's plan was literally stick and move. He forgot to make a miss. I can't like repeat that enough because it was so crucial considering a fight like this and the way he's fighting. I don't understand why he didn't make him miss or why, or why he didn't he didn't um make him pay. In my other video, I said that he was going to circle him the whole time. And I don't understand why Canelo didn't... I don't know if he never seen Lara fire or anything, but he should have known this was going to happen. You don't... You, I'm pretty sure he was expecting him to fight with him, which is pretty stupid of him because that's not Lara's style. Lara is a pure boxer. Of course he's going to move around. Of course he's going to circle you. The one thing I said that Canelo had to do was cut off the ring, and he did not do that. He only did that about maybe twice, three times max, and it did kind of work, but that's it. Otherwise, he didn't use it, which would have been his number one his number one weapon against Lara. The second one would have been in neutralizing with a good jab, which he didn't really do. He couldn't really get to Lara's head, although there were occasions where he was able to, but it was very little. Now, throughout the middle of the fight, I, I forgot what round... But Canelo threw, a, I believe it was a left uppercut. It was the same uppercut that he hit Angulo with to stop the fight. And he cut Lara's right eye. Right above, right on the eyebrow. Now, that fight was kind of um, changing the fight. Because from that point on, I, I felt like Lara stepped off the gas pedal. So he could like control the bleeding, which he did. His, his own corner did a good job at it. They stopped it within like a round or two. And it didn't affect him that much, but I feel like for a moment it's like, oh crap, I'm cut. This is gonna look bad. I gotta, I gotta fix this. Now, on the up, on the counter hand, Lara swelled up and bruised Canelo's right eye as well with the with all of his left hands landing at will, because he was landing a lot of headshots on Canelo, but Canelo was landing a lot of body shots as well. So it was either like give and take. This was a close fight. It was a. I think it was a 50-50 fight. It was, it's basically like opposites colliding, which makes it, which it was a good fight. A lot of people didn't like it, but I enjoyed it. 
I feel like Canelo pushed a bit harder, so I gave it to him. Lara focused on, he didn't focus on fighting, and Canelo did, and he focused on staying away from him. And that's a mistake you make. You don't, you don't go into any type of combat and, and just hit your opponent running away. You gotta, you gotta punish him. You gotta make him pay. This fight was so close. It's, it's such a 50-50 fight that l while Lara was landing upstairs, Canelo was landing downstairs. Lara wanted to stay away, or Canelo wanted to stay close. This a lot of people were kind of comparing it to. Canelo's fight with Floyd, but it's completely different, way different. This is where you see the result between running and boxing. What Floyd did was boxing, but Lara did fell into the category of running, but just slightly. And they, after the fight ended, they gave uh, Lara an interview saying, do you feel like you won the fight? Something along those lines. And what him and Floyd Mayweather did. And he said, yeah, I did like exactly what he did. And the reporter said that no, it was different. Something along those lines. And then he got mad and said, bullshit. Which, I agree with the reporter. But they were completely different. You don't win fights by just backpedaling unless you make your opponent pay. That's boxing. Not hitting him and then just getting away. The fight was close. It was a good fight. I enjoyed it. I knew this was going to happen. I, I thought that both both of them would have learned from their their camps and knew what type of fight this was going to be. But apparently neither one of them did. I'm more surprised but by Canelo how miserably he felt to impress me because you should know what you're getting yourself into. You knew he was a pure boxer. He's obviously not going to stand in front of you and trade. I don't think anybody re would really. Unless, like, maybe you're fighting some type of, like, brawler. But you knew he was going to move around a lot. He should have trained to establish good jabs and cutting off the ring, which he needs to do. Lara should have stepped it up a notch and just un gave him more combinations and moving, more head movement. Because he didn't really do that. He just, as soon as he would throw a 1-2, Canelo would go in for, to attack him. And then he would literally go into, like, a turtle shell, block, and then move away. He didn't do nothing. Now, the fight. Um, right now, I'm gonna show you guys um some some of the pictures of the fight the the fight total, the punches, and you can see for yourself what the numbers were. And it's really it's up to you how, what you think, what you think excelled that night. What did you prefer? Did you prefer? Lara's boxing, or did you prefer Canelo's aggressiveness? There's a there is a difference between effective aggressiveness and gen, ring generalship. It's hard to say which did what better because both of them failed and stuff that they needed to do. Canelo, his aggressiveness was pushing Lara back, but it wasn't really that effective. Lara's generalship was good. But it wasn't enough to get Canelo off his back. You see how it's split? And a lot of people have said that he won, but you come on, we know why he won. If it was this close, I could see him winning 115, 113, which is what I had it. But 117 to 111, no, nah, that's, that's bogus. We know exactly why he got that. Come on. They're trying to make Canelo into the next big star. Of course they're going to secure a win for him. Of course they're not going to let him lose. It's too dangerous. They're going to lose too much money. Canelo is a big investment for a lot of people. And I'm not surprised. I knew this was going to happen. I knew he was going to be saved if it was close. If it was this close of a match. I'm not saying the fight was robbed. I think a good the, the scorecard was decent. But they're trying to make Canelo the future of boxing. And at this point, it looks like they're doing anything they can to save him from a, from a loss. But... I mean, it is what it is. We can't really do much about it. I think 115, 113 was good. But I think I think the better man won that fight. As for Lara, he wants a rematch. I don't think he's ever going to get it, really. Unless like, he ends up beating everyone at 154. Which, there's really good opposition there. There's a lot of good guys. So we'll, we'll see what happens. As for 
the future of both of them, the one that seems to have the brightest future is Canelo with possible showdowns with Miguel Cotto and maybe Gennady Golovkin. Who knows? We'll see what happens next. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.